Sucralius. I'll watch for heart for Julian Voss at 14, after the almost case in the dark vineyards of his family winery. Now the prodigal Hardy has returned to Napa Valley, and when Holly is hired to revamp the gardens on the Voss estate, she wonders if she'll finally get a smooch. But her grandpa professor is in the teenager she remembers and their polar opposite personalities clash spectacularly. One wine four girls nine later, Harley can she the sense that she did something reckless. And then she remembers the drunken secret admiral letter she left for Julian. Oh shit. Sure. On sabbatical from his Ivy League job, Julian plans to write a novel. But having Harley gotten right outside his window is the ultimate distraction. She is eccentric, chronically late, often literally covered in dirt, and so unbelievably beautiful. He can't focus on anything else, until he finds an anonymous letter sent by a woman from his past. Even as Julian wonders about this admirer, he is sucked further into Halley's orbit. Like the flowers she plants all over town, Halley is a burst of color in Julian's gray school life. For a man who wires his socks and runs on tight schedules, her sunny chaotic energy makes zero sense. But there's something so familiar about her, and her very presence is turning his world upside down.